Hello and welcome to No Man's Sky, everybody. Yolan Paul here with my new look. I'm loving this staff. I really, really am. Uh, so this is on my regular main save. I want to thank you all for joining me today, uh, or at least watching this video. Uh, I keep thinking I'm live sometimes, and I'm not. Uh, so we're recording this. So what we've got going on here today, this is going to be an interesting video, as you saw by the description. Um, I found that in doing my other video, I did not complete out prayers of the machine on this main run so we're going to complete that out today but something that i'm very interested in that i read in the notes is the new atlanta uh what would you call them atlantid the atlantid multi-tool that is not the staff so i'm very curious about this because i've got a good amount of of weapons in here um this is my main tool um that's the one i got for the end of the uh, run that gave me an S-Class one. Um, this is the one I think I have right now. Am I correct? Yes, that's the one I have right now. So I'm going to call this the Skull, and I really do like it a lot. This is um, what looks like a hand. So it's pretty cool. It doesn't have the best ratings in the world, so getting a good multi-tool, I mean, it's got three right here. So I was looking to see if I can get a fourth upgrade in here someplace. But I think when I upgraded this one, it popped up over here someplace. So we're going to go ahead and sell this multi-tool. Um, we do have a paralysis mortar on board. Uh, but I'm really not interested in what's on here. So I'm going to go ahead and sell this one. Um, my main one that I have, and this one really does look cool when it's, when it's activated. The other main one that I got is this one here, which was also the same thing. And if I'm not mistaken, yeah, C-Class, and it really didn't have the great upgrades. So we're going to sell two of these off today and get rid of them. We'll get the upgrades from it as, you know, and all that by going up here to the terminal ne next to Tethys. Tethys? I can't get through the doorway. I hate when that happens. Tethys. It'll be Tethys. All right. So we're going to go ahead and get rid of this one. Gonna ask us for sure claim and you see it pulls up another one so i'm gonna go back in here and i'm gonna choose my other one which is hoslav nope that's the one i like hold on and that is this one yes yes i think i don't know i don't think this one was working out properly it had the three upgrades in a row, but it didn't have the fourth one, I think, popped up over here somewhere. I may hang on to it for now, and I may do a little bit of uh, uh, checking it out, so to speak. Let me just see if there's any others I want to get rid of right now. We have the Jack. Uh, let's see, which has the four upgrades up here and has pretty good damage, so I'll probably hang on to you. Uh, what else we got? That's my main one. That's the Lightning Bolt Caster, I call it which has the four upgrades right here and actually does a little more damage than the other one. So we'll probably hang on to this one too. No big deal. No wire there. Okay, so that's just some basic multi-tools, but it should give me some room now. So if we look in here, I've got Jack, my main one, Lightning Bolt Caster, Skievo, and Hoslav. And Hoslav I'm going to rename right now. I do, I do like the name. Skull of Hoslav. Yeah. Come on. Got to got to go with it. Got to go with it. And right now it's got a pulse uh a pulse spitter in there. That's in the in the supercharged slots. It's got other supercharged slots that are here like one here, one here, one here, and one here. So I got a good arrangement of supercharged slots right in here. Um but I haven't tested the bolt caster yet in here and I haven't looked into it. But still it does some decent damage and I'm going to hang on to it for now. Um, I got good scanning options with it and everything like that, so we're just going to hang on to this. All right, so we got plenty of room in our inventory right now, and we're looking pretty, pretty good, I'd say. So let's complete out this other quest line real quick, and we are going to... I have to select it first. Is it already selected? Okay, we got to do that. Wait a minute. Let me just see if it does it in here. Oh, okay, wait a second. We got to go back here. See? There's my icon. I almost forgot about that. Almost forgot about that. It is actually the main terminal where you can put uh, Achilles. 
Achilles, not Achilles. Hold on, I know this. Artemis. Artemis. Well, you can put in Artemis. Achilles. Yeah, good grief. Too much Greek. <laughs> nah, maybe never enough. Who knows? All right. So we're going to go ahead and select it. Authorization, secondary simulation running. The machine is ancient powerful. And we're going to reveal the Atlantidium. Searching. Match found planetary body identified. Lots of zeros and ones. Now we can go elsewhere. So we get some of our Atlantidium back. Present it to an electronic heart. Know its response. Scan for Atlantidium, Atlantidium sen uh, sensitive presence. Let's find out. We have to go into space though. No matter what it is. All right, here we go. And then we're going to see if we can't find one of those multi-tools. I'm really curious about that. Okay. Let's scan. An EPU is found. Where is it? Oh, right up there. I wonder if we can go there and get past these ships. Yep, I did. What do you know? Usually it stops you right at those ships. Oh, we're all the way over there, are we? Uh, let me scan the planet. An airless planet. How interesting. It's got indium on board. That's good. We're not even on this planet. Okay. That's strange. What planet are we going to? That is our cactus planet. Okay. I think this was the system we went to when we were doing the uh, anomaly mission, if I'm not mistaken. Factory operation CPU. Let's go ahead and go down here. Aha. Right next to a freighter, too. We'll go ahead and take that. Alright, so as you might imagine, we have to go inside. And they're gonna get upset, but that's okay. That was quick. Okay. We have some nanites while we're here. Not that we need that many more. Okay, alarms protest my intrusion, but the facility seems unattended. Its processing process is automated by an artificial intelligence. Unauthorized personnel detected. Please verify credentials to override alarm. Reveal Lantidium. Verifying. Ver and you basically break the machine. Execution failed. Lots of zeros and ones, and we're back. And we get our Atlantidium back. Present uh, electronic... Okay, scan. We want to scan again. It might take me over to that freighter, but... It'll take me wherever it decides to take me, of course. Uh, looks like it's over this way. Off planet. Okay, so we'll go elsewhere. Where am I ship at? There you are. Ooh, this has the butterflies on, on the planet, too. Those are nice creatures to have as pets, too, for flying purposes. If you want. Okay, let's go off planet. Let's see if we can pulse drive from here. Yep. Four seconds, three seconds. Two seconds, one second. Oh, we're going to the station. Understood. All right. Space station core is where we're headed. So let's go screw up a space station. Yay! <laughs> yeah, there you go. Park me at the furthest landing pad. I appreciate that. Thank you. Reminds me of my uh, expedition runs. Just park me outside the anomaly, why don't you? I'll just walk in. Spacewalk into the place. Alright. Okay, so you get your usual information. Everything's functional. And now we break it. Analyzing. Nothing indexed. Unable to establish trade link and unable to plot flight path. You're all on your own trying to land here, folks. Good luck. <laughs> yeah, broke the machine. 
Yeah, we're going to get into the ship first before we actually do another scan. And scan away. Oh, my ship cockpit is comforting and familiar. I take a moment to sit back and run my fingertips over the dashboard. The sensors and controls gently light up as my hand passes over them as though responding to the presence of an old friend. We reveal the Atlantidium. Void detected. She is near. Whoop, chills. Unbidden, the ship computer launches a navigational sequence. The controls, so responsive just moments ago, ignore my input entirely. Calibrating navigational system, searching for void trace, searching, searching, destination unknown. Okay, located. New Atlantid? Now request a search. Did the ship perform this of its own accord? Or is this the influence of external will? Okay, so we know all this from my video that I did on it. So guess what? We're going to leave. And what we need to do is head out into the unknown and pulse drive. And you can see it's detecting things like you do when you're trying to find a uh, crashed freighter, what we call it, a derelict freighter in space. When it tells you to, exit. Okay, probe the structure. Okay, the ancient audio pops and hisses. Corvax Prime Disaster Pop number 38. Log of Refugee Entity Kazimo. Day zero, I'll close my eye, but I cannot close my mind. Deafening millions of screams deafen this entity. All entities, a great disconnection. Ew, we will never see home again. Day one, the link is frayed. The entity feels distant from the convergence here. Other entities aboard say the same. The screams, even the silence, we cannot hear one another's thoughts. We are so afraid. Day five, the enti this entity's my thoughts feel private. Privately, my thoughts. Those junk junkyard moons, the rumor's true. Everything is shattered. I do not know what to believe. I have not been told what to do. Day 10, crystals growing. Day whatever, who is stowing away in our minds? Even now, even here, fragment. Atlas, save us, save. Electronic voice shakes with fear. I feel uncomfortable listening to these words that seem so personal, so desperate. The ancient log crackles, the decayed tape reaching the end of its retrievable data. Yet even the, through the static, I hear a change of tone in the final audible word. The voice is no longer fearful. It is defiant. It's strange language data. Metallic voice rings in my ears, the meaning of the word unmistakable. Something, a hunger, a longing begins to tug inside my chest. Every blink reveals an infinite field of crimson. So that was the choice I made with my main character is on the first run is Crimson. So just keep that in mind. So what we're going to do... Let's take him out. And we get our Atlantidium. A little extra. Seek a hidden gateway. Perform a scan. to you it's back over here because we're in the middle of nowhere and there it is right there on that planet gateway detected gateway is a portal basically you know if you haven't figured that out there you are so we're gonna head over to this gateway we'll go through and so we're gonna complete this out like I said what in the world what happened Atlas interference detected? Did we... Um, that was really, really weird. I don't know why that happened. Atlas interference detected. Let me check something here. There's a space station. I don't see anything that looks like an atlas to me, do you? Is it these guys? That's really odd. I don't know what that's about. That was very, very strange. So I'm going to make believe that didn't happen and try to get this pulse drive back up and running. Large ship proximity, I don't mind that, that's okay. Okay, there we go. 
Very, very odd. I've never been stopped by the Atlas. Hmm. I wonder if that means anything. Maybe it's trying to prevent me from getting to the gateway? Which is odd, because that didn't happen on my other run. So I'm not sure about that. That's kind of weird. Strange things happen. Alright, approximate location, so... Watch our radar. Can't miss portals. Portals are pretty big units. I had somebody tell me to use my D-pad, and I had to unfortunately remind them I don't use a D-pad. Ah, there it is. Uh, I think it's over there. That is the obelisk that pops out of the ground. Yes, I was right. Okay. All right, here we go. Hunger inside my chest escalates near the portal. The structure demands my attention. The wind pulls me closer. It's deep beneath, but no voice rises. Is there any intelligence in this ancient technology? It is mute. We have a sense of anticipation as though some great force is poised to erupt. We say Atlas, so should we wield the Voltaic Staff? I'm going to wield the Voltaic Staff first. It sparks, sends a jolt through my bones. Oh yeah, baby. Love this. Now we're going to say Atlas. Really cool stuff here, folks. Okay, here we go. That was weird, but we're through. All right, we'll be popping out of the other side of this in a moment. And here's the fun part. We are floating in space with my staff. You know what? This calls for a picture. Yeah, buddy. You only get one chance at this, so take your picture when you can. I'm gonna keep that around for a while. There it is. Maybe we just recharge it. Welcome to the Atlas. I think I've learned most of the words of the Atlas at this point, so I don't think there's any more for me to learn here. But I don't see any opportunity to learn any, so let's head forward. Nice. We will stand right on the center of this square. Or, no, it's not a square, it's a diamond. The Atlas is unknowable, a mind too alien to comprehend. There is nothing to indicate it is even aware of my presence, and yet it seems inevitable that my path led here. I could not prevent it, I could not resist. Access denied. Cannot delete. Data corrupted, unreadable. I'm going to push it closer. I, I pulled it away last time, but I think I'm going to push it closer. There we go. Catastrophic system failure. See, it wants to shut down in 16 minutes, but it doesn't let it. Bolts of corruption swim across the crimson interface. It cries out as if, if it is capable of distress, if it, if it is capable of fear, then I think it must be afraid. Yet it has brought me here for a purpose. We're going to watch. As I stare into the vast red orb, images begin to take form. The Atlas shows me the lost intelligence of Corvax Prime, thriving, falling. Waiting, blind, and alone, the children stranded in the dark, rebuilding their own bodies from nothing. The autophage. It shows me a future and a reality I do not recognize. Wires loosened from their circuits, transistors failing. Memories dissolving, dispersing like ink in water. The Atlas hurtles towards its own dark. In a time and a space I cannot begin to understand. It cries out. It demands compliance. So instead of submitting, last time I submitted, I'm going to question it. 
deleting, cannot delete, access denied. The Atlas is all creation, the Atlas is everything, the autophage are children of the Atlas too, they must be. But why did they return from the dark? Why are they here? I'm going to choose, I chose fear, uh, hope last time. This is a big decision. If we choose fear, it would be a problem. I'm going to try choosing fear. I want to see what happens. Are the autophage a manifestation of fear? Mother and the children of the void represent entropy, corruption, defiance, ghosts returning to haunt their creator. The Atlas cries out again. Do we submit, defy, or comfort? If we submit, we give in to it. And that's what I chose last time. Do we defy it, or do we comfort? I'm going to defy the very existence of the autophage is an act of resistance. They chose. They choose life. They reject the reality of death. They defy the atlas. They prove it is possible. The atlas says nothing. Does it hear my defiance? Is it disappointed? I cannot truly know what it thinks. All I can know is my own mind. I am released. So I don't really know what happened here and what choice I've made. I guess we're going to find out. going to appear just like any other time period in on another planet. Like you went to the center of the universe or something along those lines. Don't forget folks, there's Twitch drops over the weekend, so I will be posting this probably later on today. I'm recording in the morning. I am Atlantid Walker, defied the creator. Ooh. Oh, it's a hot storm, so my jetpack gets to stay running a little bit longer here. I have to speak to Nada. And here we are. Here's our ship. All right. Let's head up to the anomaly. There's no reason to hit all those things on the ground and all that garbage. So let's just head off this moon and pull in a space station. You got it. That's no moon. It's a space station. May the force be with you all. Always. All right. Hey, nice parking space for once. And let's go talk to Nada. Staff in hand. Let's see what Nada has to say about all this. Nada stiffens, looking at me with concern. Are you well, friend entity? We're going to tell him about the Atlas. Atlas falsity was afraid. Nada was not considered has not considered this possibility. Curious, but travelers should be wary. Atlas falsity entity is a liar. Purple lattice exists where it cannot. Challenges the Atlas falsity. Proves it is not deity. Nada always knew. But Nada has not realized. Do you have the purple lattice here? We're going to give him that. He takes it, holds it gently in their palm. A shudder runs through their carapace, their facial lights blinking erratically. They are lost in some private emotion, some memory. I do not interrupt. She was home once. May Nada keep this at friend entity? We're going to give him that. Nada is grateful. Thank you for this memory. The builder entities, the purple lattice. Nada does not think there is cause for fear. Not for us. For Atlas Falsity, perhaps. Nada's lights blink just once. And Nada does not quarantine our friendship. There is plenty. Make your path forward, Traveler. Make friends. It is your way. Nada and Polo will always be here. And that's it. And that is the end to that mission. So now we get to go look for Atlantid Multi-Tools. So I'm trying to figure that one out. That's new. I saw it in the descriptions that they were going to be a thing. I don't know if you get them from the expedition or not, because we haven't tried the expedition. The expedition hasn't gone live. I'm thinking they're going to give us a few extra days to get this particular run-through taken care of first. Get away from the... There, for just a moment. Man, these two are really close together. Okay, yes, and I don't have it in my list anymore. So there we are. So... I'm thinking we need to find the Atlantid multi-tool. Um, 
I'm trying to figure out how they would, we would do that. I'm thinking we got to go to another galaxy. Let's just check. Not a galaxy, pardon me. Another uh, planetary system. We want to go somewhere that is, I'm thinking, must be dissonant. Um, I'd like to find a better one than that. Let me see here. Corvax specifically dissonant. Um, let's see what we can find. Water, 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 water. Water. Let's go a little ways. Dissonant right there. Corvax, two star. Let's go ahead and do it. Let's try there next and just see what we got. Pretty big system. I don't have to go for a three star system economy wise so we're going to see what we get here and see if it is something that we're going to find on the planet i don't know i don't know what what to expect if i was a guessing individual i would say that most likely it's going to become part of the expedition itself and that once we've completed the expedition during the expedition we're going to get this multi-tool and be able to use it and then we'll be able to find it in newer places so let's it's a first contact here so no one's been here before let's check these planets out Might be behind it. Aggressive sentinels, yeah, yeah. Not unless I feel like slapping some around. Okay. Let's check over here. There it is. Plated planet. Interesting. I don't think we're going to find anything here because plated planets normally don't have any life on them except maybe one life form. So I don't know if this will have what we're looking for, but we'll see. And yeah, if you're looking at my pulse drive, I'm letting it get all the way to empty. So let's see what we find here. Cool. Pretty cool. Whoa, buddy. A little too low there. Okay. And I don't think... Oh, man, we're just, like, running into everything here, huh? I don't think we're going to find any buildings or anything, but we'll take a look around. Maybe we'll find something that is... Uh, that's what I'm looking for. Abandoned? Yeah, I don't think we're going to find anything. Let's go ahead and park up here. While we're doing that, let me take a look at... I think I've got... Hold on. Oh, you know what? We have one of these, don't we? Yeah, let's check this out. Oh, we got to go to a nearby system. Okay, so there's literally nothing in the system for us. Okay. All right, so it's taking us... That's actually pretty cool, because it's taking us to a nearby system. To here. And it happens to be Corvax as well. It's one star, but we'll go ahead and head there anyway. All right. Oh, there it is. So that's probably the planet. There it is. Okay, turn. Let's head over there. And I got, uh, I love that. I got Polo up there just babbling his head. Love it. All righty then. nothing I need. You never know sometimes. Sometimes it's an object in space, so. Did it say approximate? I think it did say approximate. Yeah, it says approximate. That's ridiculous. Uh, it looks like it's right there, actually. So we got a ship. That's what we got. 
So what kind of ship do we find here? Let's take a look at it. It's a B-Class. It's kind of cute. Not the X-Wing version, I don't think. But you know what I'm going to do here? I'm going to go ahead and take everything out of it. I'm out of Hylian brains. Uh, not brains themselves, but the uh, harmonized ones. So probably a good idea if I can get that done while I'm here. Uh, let's see. Yeah, okay. I do want to get a, high, a harmonized one, just in case I ever find a new ship that I'm interested in. So we'll go ahead and do that while we're here. And then we're going to look for a campsite after that. And because we're going to cancel the salvage operation after this. Okay. Man, these ships are fast. Okay. I'm hitting the wrong button. Oh, that's interesting. I didn't know you could do that. Oh, that's pretty cool. A little melee attack there. Well, hello there. Why are you here? Um, let's give it a shot. I didn't know it would do that. Is this a new thing? The base glows and light to DM still rippling within its core. This is new. The very stone seems to shift the cold polished surface, rearranging itself into a piece of technology. Inspect the runic technology. Oh my gosh, that's how you get the multi-tool. Holy mackerel. Um, neat. What is this? Runic lens. That's got to be the mining laser for it. Um, I'm going to go ahead and grab it. And you, oh, you have to buy it. And you have to buy it with nanites. Whoa. Okay, well, there's your, uh, that's how you get a, a multi-tool. Holy mackerel, we stumbled upon it by accident. Okay, well, there you go. Let's go ahead and buy the multi-tool. Very neat. And then we go up here, and we can do our harmonic brain. Present the brain. And we get our harmonic brain. Okay. Can we hit this thing again? Or we can? What does it do? The song is now, it's song now complete. Oh, that is neat. Well, now you know, folks. That's how you get your Atlantid. And I bet you anything, it's only going to be on dissident planets. Dissonance. Dissonance planets. Oh, wow, that is, that is unbelievable. Okay, so now we know. Let's take a look at our... First of all, I'm going to go into the mission here because I don't want to salvage this ship. Uh, let's take a look at the weapon real quick. So this is it. We've got no... Yeah, it's going to be very similar to the other one. So I'm going to go ahead and grab this Atlanta DM just because. Alright, very nice. So let's take a look. Oh, I can't put it away too soon. Let's take a look at it. Uh, that is a pretty cool weapon. I love, I love the, uh, targeting unit on the top. Oh, that's pretty cool. Yeah, that's really, really neat. All right. Very, very nice. Let's, let's do one more thing here. Okay. Yeah, yeah, pretty cool. Very, very nice. Okay. So, we can upgrade it probably like anything else, I'm guessing. So that's nice. Um, I'm going to switch multi-tools here in a minute. Let's look for the campsite, because I'd love to try doing this one more time. Uh, back to the exosuit. Uh, let's go ahead and do an echolocator, since we have a few of them. And we're going to look for a campsite. And yeah, we'll have to deal with storms on this one. But this is pretty cool. I ended up with an Atlantid multi-tool 
by accident. So that's, you know, hey, discovery. Yay. Let's see where we land. I'm curious if we're going to land right in the middle of this camp. Yeah, we do. That's hilarious. So, gather up the resources around the outside if you wish. I have no desire to do so. Um, so we're just going to go straight to the terminal here. Uh, let's see. We're going to do scan memory registers. Uh, let's see. So that's 5, 11, and, t and 1. Okay, we're going to deactivate the multi-tool. And we're also going to do the ship. Oh, you can exchange... Oh, you can do that all here too. Look at that. What can you get here? Ooh, I'm very curious now. Yeah, 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 you can have your facial unit. I got a few of those already. Uh, let's see. Let's keep going here. Edge scarf. Got the returner's drape. Elaborate wrap. Okay, you get armor, cloaks, hoods, facial units. Okay, you can get all that stuff. You can't get any staff items here. Apparently. It's appearance modifier. Okay, great. I just wanted to make sure because I wanted to see if any staffing items would be here too. Very nice. Okay. Ooh, what's that? It almost looks like a pirate. No, it's an aerodynamic one. Yeah, I've seen that before. That's pretty neat. Okay, good. Well, now we know we can do that. Hey, get back in there. Nobody said you could leave. Uh, so we got void mode, so we can do a staff assembly, so we can we can actually build a staff. Nope, won't let me build a staff here. Okay, well, maybe that's broken still. This and spikes, we'll go ahead and look for a ship. Hopefully it won't be the same one. Okay. All right, let's see what we got here. So I do have staff components in here, as you can see. So I've been gathering them up as I've been going. All right, so that's good. We will check out the ship in a moment. Let's see what kind of weapon we got here. A-class. Uh, you got your your supercharged slots all over the place. So not really worth my time here. So we're going to go ahead and head out. And let's go check out the ship. Oh, I'm very excited about this now. So, on these planets, if we can discover more of those structures, we can find multi-tools all over the place. Uh, it's going to take eight minutes. Let's go up into the atmosphere here. Get out in space. And... There we go. 32 degrees Fahrenheit in space. I don't think that's the case. I think it's lying. <laughs> Unless it's like 32 degrees over absolute zero, maybe. Oh, hello. Slow down, slow down, slow down. Okay, there's another ship. I'm not interested in the ships, as you know. But I wonder, with all the extra brains I have on board my ship... See, I can go ahead and grab this, too. It's a C-class. Uh, we'll go ahead and grab this stuff. Whether it will allow me, it won't allow me. Okay, let's try something here. Um, I'm going to try taking the harmonic brain and putting it on my freighter, which is not in the system anymore. It won't let me do it. I would have to get the ship. All right, let me try something here. I'm going to jump in and out, and we're going to reload. I want to see if we can get this to work right here. And we're going to leave that there. Let's see what happens here. Very curious. Because if the only way to do it is that you have to look for one of those structures, then... 
most of those structures are usually within 30 seconds of the crash site. Which is fine if you want to take the chance to just drift around and look for one of these structures. Or wander around, if you will. If you can find a decent planet that you don't have as much toxicity or, you know, issues with, then you can look wherever you want. But, okay, let's go on here. It won't let us do it. Okay. So I would have to destroy that harmonic brain. I got an idea. I'm going to try one more thing here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go onto the freighter here. We're going to take the harmonic brain I put in here. We're going to go into one of the inventories and drop it in. I'm going to go back, and we're going to dismiss said freighter. And wait for everybody to go. Okay, everybody gone. Now, will it work? Yes, it does. Okay, there we go. All right, so once you have it in a cargo container where you can't access it at all, then it works. All right, there we go. And I wonder if we can continue to do that. So that's going to be an interesting thing. So this is a, bit, a little bit of a test here. So you can, as you know, glitch duplication is present. And I'm not going to lie to you. I, of course, do glitch duplication. But I made sure I only do it after I've gone ahead and gone through my entire playthrough and did it straight, if you will, without any adaptation to it, without cheating in any way. And then if I decided to cheat items through, I'd go ahead and do it. Oh, that was completely strange, wasn't it? Alright, so does this structure have what we're looking for? I don't know. Let's find out. I'll go ahead and grab some words, because I always like to learn new words. Yep, it does. So let's check it out, shall we? See what kind of one we can get here. Now, we may have to go to a better system to get something better than C or B class. We may have to go to a better economy. Alright, what do we got? Okay, usual message. Let's inspect the technology. Yep, another C class. Ooh. Oh my. Look at that special weapon. That might be worth taking a look at. That is really cool looking. It's black with like a gold trim to it. Oh, that is really neat. We've got a supercharged slot on it. It is C-Class. Maybe they all are. I don't know. We're going to go to a different system and check it out. I think we're going to go ahead and exchange this one. Yeah. And it's still going to it's still going to cost us 696 nanites to exchange it. And I can't take it because I have too many uh, multi-tools already. So we'll go ahead and exchange it. still costing me some nanites to do that. Okay. I need a lot more nanites because I've just realized I've only got 57,000 of them, so... And that doesn't... I mean, that sounds like a lot to, I'm sure, a lot of people, but... Um... Yeah. By the way, you get these now, and they give you more stuff. So, by all means, got to start gathering those up, too. You can put them in your inventory. It adds even more to your life support and stuff like that. So, pretty cool things. Alright, so this... Let's take a look at it. All right, let's take a look. Yeah, exactly what I thought. That is one bad-looking weapon. Looks like a little Atlas thing in the middle there. That is pretty cool. I like that. Whoop, went a little too close. Look, mini Atlas with a shield around it. <laughs> oh, check that out. Interesting. I wonder what the symbol means. Fascinating. That is really cool. Look at the design on this. Look at all the details that went into it. Really cool. Wish I could go around at a much easier rate. I'm sure I'm making you all sick looking at it. That's the bottom of it. Um, I'm liking this weapon a lot. I mean, maybe only C-Class, but that is really, really cool. Okay. I want another harmonic brain, so I'm going to go ahead and grab it. And there we go. So now I get myself a second ship sometime. Alrighty. Let's go find ourselves a different system and check things out. I'm sure you're all going to agree with me on that one. That's going to be pretty cool. Hmm. I wonder if anyone's figured that out yet.
Uh, let's see. So we want to go to the galaxy map. Yeah, I got everything there right now, according to this. I don't know why. Probably because it thinks it, because it thinks my freighter is still there. That's why. All right, let's take a look around. We need to find a dissident system that is better, if you will. Uh, two star. Two star Corvax. Because our theory is is that you can get a three star dissident system. Two star. Pirate system. We're going to avoid that for now. We may end the episode with a nice little space battle. We'll see. One star. Uh, looks like a two star Viking. This may take some doing. It may take a little while to find this, but we'll find it. And I'm actually watching someone play on Twitch right now because I want my Twitch drops. So if you didn't remember to get them, get them. Pirate system dissident. Hmm. That's interesting. I wonder if it'll be different. Why don't we check that out? This will be a little bit of a longer episode, so let's go ahead and check this out. Now, we may get into a space battle because we're arriving, but we'll see what happens. Yeah, I think we are. I'm seeing hints on the left of a ship. Nope. No battle. We're good. There's our pirate, sh pirate space station. So let's look for our planet. I don't think this is it. It is. And it's a petrified planet. Yeah, I don't think we're going to find anything on a petrified planet. Because there's no life usually on a petrified planet, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, let's see. We may have to go to a different system entirely. Uh, discoveries. Yeah, we got to go to the planet itself. Sorry. We're pretty, I'm pretty sure that we're not going to find anything here. Yeah. There's no life here. I really seriously doubt we're going to find anything here at all. Um, let's try something real quick. Because, see? Yeah, that ain't going to work. Okay. Worth a shot. Too bad, right? Good place to harvest stuff. So if you want to find a system like that, man, that's a great place to harvest things. Because as you attack them from the sky, uh, no sentinel show up to fight you. Because it's a pirate system. Okay. Back to the galaxy map. All right, so oop, we had a nice dissonant system right next to it. I think. thought we did. Yeah, there was. One star. Water, water, water. Again, this is going to be tough to find because finding a three-star dissonant is difficult. One star. I mean, finding any three-star systems is sometimes hard to find, but specifically one that is also dissonant is tough. So you've got a three-star water. So the chances are slimmer. It, it can be found, though, of course. But that is our theory, and we want to play it out. Let's see what we can find here, folks. Two-star. Do, 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 do. Dissonant two star. Oh, there was one there. No data. No data. Dissonant one star. Water. 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 Two star. Yeah, this is annoying, huh? Oh, wait, 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 wait. Three stars. Viking. Uh, 
but I think we're in good shape. Let's check that out. All right. So this will be the big test, of course. So if we can find ourselves a new multi-tool here. And I think I need to get rid of one of the ones I've got. I think that's going to have to be the way it's going to go here. Sadly. Because I really thought I had extra spots, but... I had thought I had one more extra spot. But apparently not. They added another multi-tool, but they don't give you the room to put it anywhere. Uh, nope, that's not it. There is a planet over there, but... We'll have to find it. Let's go over here and check these out. Oh, I hope it's not this one. That doesn't look like a... It looks like a lifeless void. Empty. Dang it. Oh, that just sucks. I'm sorry, guys. That would have been fantastic. Can't believe that happened. One star. Finally get a three-star system. The one planet that has it is going to be... Uh, a dead planet. Go figure. Water, 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 water. Oop, there was one down there. I think it might have just been anomaly. And I saw the word anomaly and that's it. Yeah, I think it is. Oh, wait a minute. Two star. Okay, I could have swore there was a third one in there. Yeah, it's two star. A little bright there, huh? It's okay. Dissonant two star. Because we want to know if the... Of course, you know, I'm going to restate this several times probably. We want to know if the economy of the system itself will affect the unit you find or it's going to treat it like... Oh, and we just found another one. Where'd it go? It was there. I know it was there. There it is. Three star Viking again. Let's hope for the best. Uh, will affect the uh, type of weapon that you get as well as um, how powerful it is. In other words, what class it is. Um, or they're all going to be C class. Like, for instance, when you go for the royal looking ones, which I've already gotten rid of one of mine, um, the royal ones tend to always be a C class. Rarely will they be any higher. So I want to see if that's the case here, too. All right. Give me a good, good view here, folks. Okay, Icebound, that would have been fine for Dissonance. The purple one over there probably is it. Oh, no, it happens to be the Hyborian. I'm just curious about the moon. Paradise moon, go figure. Maybe a good place to set a base. On our way. Interesting, a paradise moon and we're near the space station. And this one's not too far out, to be honest with you, even though it's a frozen planet. This will work out great. We're in a three-star system, so let's see what we can get. Okay, as we enter the atmosphere, let's go ahead into this. Uh, where is it here? Over here? Why is it all the way over there? Uh, you gonna give me a reading on how, how long? Okay, good. There we go. Back out into space, we'll pulse drive to it. It's on the sunny side of the planet. That's good. I thought it was. Good grief. I love the shadows of the clouds. It always looks so nice. Hmm. And let's come in for a landing. All right. We'll start here. Now, I could have used the other AI interface one, but I'm just going to do this first. Show you a little trick. Instead of scanning, we go input, back out, scan. So we got 2, uh, 8, and 5, 14. 2, 8, 14. And see, it gets there a lot quicker. 2, 8, 8, right? I said 8. And 14, 14. That's 15. Hate that. Okay, so deactivate multi-tool. And when you go back in, you have access to other things. We're going to do the dissonant spikes. 
So now we find our ship. Yeah. There we go. Dropping down. Looks like a ship just took off. Back in here. Void moats. Let's just see if there's anything new. I don't think so. Should be the same here. Yep, it's all just the outside of the units. And then finally, staff assembly. Nope, won't let us do it. Okay. So that might be a glitch. I don't know, maybe it's not allowed to show us anything. A class. We got a supercharged slot here and two right below it over here. they kind of off kilter. Not a bad tool to begin with. If we can get one over here to be supercharged when you upgrade it to an S class, that'd be pretty good. So let's go to the picture mode in case you guys, and again, we're in the, uh, I believe we're in Eisentum, right? Pretty sure we're in Eisentum. So let's go into picture mode. Bottom left corner, you can see there's the icons for the planet. I'll leave that up there for a few extra moments if you want to find it. Okay, and then if you also look at my data here, where is it? Through the viewfinder, right? At the top right location, there is your coordinates. Negative 80.86, negative 151.13 is where this is located. Okay? All right, so if anyone you want, any of you want that uh, particular multi-tool. All right, for me, we're going to head out. So we need to call in, before we do this, real quick here. Um, on the freighter. And we're going to take the harmonic brain, put it in the freighter. And when we go to the freighter, we're going to take that and put it in here. There. And then we're going to dismiss our freighter. And he's gone. Okay, good. Now we're going to go find the ship. Otherwise, we're running into problems, as you know. Off we go. 14 minutes away. Really? You couldn't find me a ship a little bit closer, could you? Unbelievable. I know there's ships closer than that. I just found the system. Nobody else has been here. And multi, multi, uh, multiplayer's turned off, too. Great. Night side. Nighttime side. Let's see if the ship is worth looking at at all. On one of my run-throughs, I ran across an S-Class one by accident. Hmm. Interesting. Nice jet profile on the back. Let's look at the front. Kind of a mean-looking ship. Not bad. What's, what's the type? C-Class, though. Not really worth it, I don't think. And it thinks I've got a Hylian brain, which I don't. I don't have a... Oh, there we go. Okay, good. All right, so now we're going to find one of the structures again. Oh, it looks like we got a landing platform to the right. Nice. Now, you could scour a planet, and you could just sit there and fly over it and look for stuff if you want. So that is one way you can do this. Hello? It's not doing it anymore. I don't know why. How about you? Are you going to tell me how far away this is? No, you're not. That is really weird. I don't know why it's not showing me the time to get there. Eh, a little bit of a glitch. It could be me. I'm looking at my video card and it's starting to get a little bit uh, overloaded. I've got a window open in the background that's watching Twitch drops. So that could have something to do with this. Uh, before we get started, let's learn some words. Now, again, this is a Viking system. Let's see if it makes any difference. Because maybe it only works in Corvax systems. I'm going to say that that is the case. Look at that. So it has to be a Corvax system on top of it all. Oh, good grief. The difficulties. Let's go ahead and do this real quick, because I can always use it. So you have to be in a Corvax system. 
that's the other thing. So there you go, Corvax system. Because this would have had that there. You know it would have. So, unbelievable. So it needs to be a Corvax system. Wow. Okay, let's get into our log real fast. We're going to abandon that mission. We're going to abandon that mission. Okay. All right. Let's dispense with the three-star system because that's going to be more difficult, obviously, to find at this time. Let's go to the galaxy map. Let's look for a two-star system, shall we? Okay. Two-star dissident. But it's got to be Corvax. So let me let me just change something here. Um, filter. Yeah, that's right. Economy, conflict, life form. Okay. Corvax is... That's Gek is yellow. A pirate, maybe. Red is Viking. I think it's blue, right? Blue is Corvax. Okay. So we're looking for blue systems that are dissident. Okay, water, water, unknown, water, dissident, two-star. I think we'll go with this one. Okay. Now, the, the one we were at was a one-star system that we found the two multi-tools at. So we're going to see what happens here. One of the ones I like to watch on Twitch, I will go ahead and mention them by name, is Ready to Tina. She's got a good run that she's doing here. Jason Plays does this on occasion as well as Zane's World. So, oh, hey, space battle. Okay. Guess what? Is it just a regular space battle? Or do we have a ship? I don't think we have a ship. Okay, I think we just have these guys. Okay. This looks like a regular space battle here, so. I don't know why he didn't die. Could have been gone. Where'd he go? There we go. So this is just a normal space battle. Okay, next. Who's next? Uh, where are you? There. There you are. Got him. Who's next? I can't seem to stay locked on him. I don't know why. I think that's it. Oh, no, there's the one behind him. His wingman was right there, if I thought. Wow, there's a lot of pirates on this one. Holy mackerel, how many pirates do we have? And that looks like that was it. All right. I'm not interested in the emergency comms. Okay, so let's go find our dissident planet. Let's see here. Dissonance, good. It's radioactive. First time you've ever heard me say, excellent. Okay. I'm just thinking ahead, or was. I'll go ahead and land. Trying to think ahead, but I got too close to the atmosphere for it. So let's just go ahead and get onto the planet. Okay. First contact. I know, I know. Up here, up here, up here. Drop you in. Okay, and then we're going to dismiss said freighter. Gone. Okay. Let's go back in our inventory. You know what? 
Let's go ahead and skip that. I'm going to find the harmonic echo. I mean, we can look at the multi-tool because I'm sure you all are interested in finding decent multi-tools out there. Let's go ahead and do this anyway. All right. So I, I changed my mind twice within one sentence. It happens to me all the time. There, see? 25 seconds away. Much better planet. I'm already happier with this planet. All right, and as we come in here to the campsite, we'll check out the multi-tool. Again, this is a Corvax system, two-star. And off we go, right here. Uh, yep, I know. Uh, input, output, scan. Okay, well, 10, uh, 15, and 5. Ten, five, ten, fifteen. 10, 15, that's funny. There we go. And we're going to deactivate the multi-tool. And we're going to go back in. And uh, we're going to dissonant spikes. So we can discover the ship. Okay. Excellent. And let's check out the multi-tool. One of the big boys again. What do we got? C-Class. So we have no idea what this one's going to have. It's a nice little Raycast Puncher. That's interesting. But obviously I'm not interested. Okay. Let's go ahead and jump in and we'll take a ride over to the ship. How far away? A half hour. You couldn't find a ship closer. We're doing this baloney again. Okay, well, out in space. There's our space battle up there that we just got done with. All right. In we go. I'm getting kind of excited about this. I'm very curious. That's an interesting looking little speedster there. It is a C-Class again. Okay, we'll take you, we'll take you, we'll take you. And that. All right. So that seems to be our conclusion. Let's see if we're correct that it has to be a Corvax system. It can't be Gek, it can't be Viking. Let's head over to the ship, check it out, or pardon me, the temple over here, and see what we got. And I don't know why I went so far past. And there it is. What do you know? It has to be Corvax system. Let's check it out. Atlantidium, Atlantidium, Atlantidium. Okay. Same thing. Let's check out the technology. And it's a C-Class again. So that's what it is. So this one's different too. As you can see, it's very interesting looking. Um, I like the one I've got right now, personally. So, supercharge slot as well. We're going to compare. I don't think we can take it. No, we can't. L see, less, less nanites. It's costing us less nanites for some reason. I don't know why. Probably because this one, the one I have currently, is actually a better unit. It has 22 slots on it. So, yeah, I'm not going to get this one. But, let's get... First things first, there's our icons at the bottom left for this planet, this system, if you will. Okay, and viewfinder, there's our coordinates at the top right, negative 27.85, positive 86.64. And the planet name is Reptungata Yoak. So there you are. Okay, so that's what we got here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and get my... 
my Hylian brain real quick. Alright, there we go. Excellent. So we're done. Now, I'm going to do something real quick. I'm going to abandon this mission. And abandon this mission. Okay, so we're done. Let me go jump down here. And, uh, where'd my ship go? My ship is over there, I think, correct? Yes. I need nanites, as you know. I said that earlier. So I'm going to be pulling in my freighter again. And I'll show you exactly what I do. You know, honestly, it is, um, not the best... It, it, I mean, if you want to cheat, that is. Let's be very clear. If you're looking to cheat a little bit and do a little bit of, uh, glitch... Glitching out certain things. Yeah, I'll put you in there. I, got, I keep a lot of stuff. I keep a lot of things. Um, because I never know when I might need them. So when I go back into my freighter here, um, there shouldn't be anything in here except for these. So these are X-Class. They are not worth much. What we're looking for are the Sentinel upgrade versions, like these question mark ones right here. These are worth quite a bit. Um... These are actually worth less. So 10 of these are worth 4,800. These are actually worth more. Just to give you a rough idea. 9,600, see? So I'm going to take these. Put them in my inventory. I'm just going to put 10 in there, obviously, because that's all I can carry on my regular inventory. Uh, hold on a second here. Put these back. Okay. I've got plenty of portable refiners. Go ahead and do that. Hopefully this will work. There it is. Just put them all down in the same spot. And as you pick them up, you should get them. There we go. See how they're counting up? If every one of them had those in there. There you go. So what do we end up with? See, we got a whole bunch of them now in our inventory. Each worth 4,800 nanites for each of them. You know, 20 of them are actually worth 9,600. So they're pretty good pricing on these things. So now that we've got that, I'm going to go ahead and do just a little bit more because I really need a lot of nanites to upgrade this from C-Class. There we go. That should be enough. If it doesn't work for you the first time, just give it a few moments, because usually it means that it saved at some point during it. So, okay, we got a bunch. So now I'm going to take ten of these, and I'm going to go back to my freighter. And we're going to go and put these in here, so we have them for later date. So we can do this again. And you'll notice that the, uh, the units are not in here, the uh, refiners. I keep them up here in case I need them. So that's how I do it. I know, I know. You're probably saying, are you cheating your crap out? Yes, I am. And I have played the game for a very long time, and I've gotten everything on my own easily doing it the normal way. So let's just be very clear about that. So I'm going to head over to the space station. Yeah, i got to get away from my own freighter now. And there's the space battle. They're probably going to hail me again. Nope. No, they're not. Good. Worry about that. Whoa, okay. I just think I puked in my helmet. Nothing like it. So let's see what kind of uh, weapon this turns out to be, whether it's really worth it or not. So one thing I'm going to note as I'm looking at the time on my display here, as I get out of the ship, my save point is going to say... Okay, it's going to say 1240. The first thing we're going to do is I'm going to sell these things off real quick here. Let's just go over here and sell them. I wasn't looking for navigation data, thanks. Yep, let's talk. That's what I'm here for, just to have conversation. So you see I've got 160 of them, or 78,000. So that's going to give me well over 120, 135,000. There you go. All right, so let's go ahead and save it here because I want to not have to do that again. All right. 12.40 again. Okay, still the same time. I'm Eastern Time in case you care. I don't care. You know that or not. 
So, we have that weapon in our inventory. We want to upgrade it. Let's take a look at the slot real quick. See? So there's our slots, right? Match storage reached. I have to do that too, so we'll, we'll check that out. Let's go ahead and upgrade it, though. Uh, upgrade the class. So that's getting to the B class. We're going to do it again. Three. 25,000. And one more time to the S class. That's not what I wanted. Oh, you see it already had an upgraded slot that's not in the right area. But that's okay. Let's see what we got. Okay, we are now at S-Class. Let's check out the slots. So you see we got a, we got a charge slot here and a supercharged slot there. If we get two... Nope, we're not going to get them. And there they are. They're all over the place on this multi-tool. It is such a cool-looking multi-tool. It's a real shame I can't keep this one. Because it's just not going to work out for me. Uh, so we'll go ahead and hit the restore point. So we can keep those, uh, see, here it is. See, it had an auto save in there, so you got to be careful. Go to the restore point. And that will get you all your nanites back. So it wasn't really worth it for this weapon. It is such a cool-looking weapon, though. It's a shame. I'll have to look for another one. But the end of the matter is this, you know, and I'm glad you're all here. Thank you for watching. Go ahead and hit the like and subscribe, because I'm going to go ahead and end the episode here. But now you know how to get the Atlantid multi-tool. And you have to go to a Corvax system that's dissonant. Okay? Corvax dissonance. It doesn't seem to make a difference what economy the system is. It looks like it's always going to be a C class. But if anyone out there finds a B or an A or an S class, I'm sure we're going to hear about it. So, again, I want to thank you all for watching. Please hit like and subscribe. Like I said before, really appreciate it. It does help our metrics out. And we'll see you again in another video. Take care, everybody.